Well, thanks to California Governor Gavin Newsom, residents who rely on Walgreens for their pharmaceutical needs are going to have to look elsewhere in the prison system, for example, where Walgreens was contracted. Newsom announced last week that the state will not renew its $54 million contract with Walgreens after the company said it won't make abortion drugs available in states that have threatened legal action against them. All of those states have either banned abortion, have proposed legislati legislation, or have pending court challenges that would prohibit distribution. Newsom tweeted this, California won't be doing business with Walgreens or any company that cowers to the extremists and puts women's lives at risk. We are done. David, to be clear, what Walgreens has said is simply this. If in the 21 states where, where governors have laws in place or are proposing laws and said that they'll file legal action, we are going to abide by what the state says. Yeah. I don't see how that's controversial. Well, I, I, you're you're a better judge of the the presidential politics involved in all this because, of course, Newsom wants to be president. He's making a state uh, statement for himself. He he may it, he it may not get to the point where Walgreens is forced to either change its policies in the anti-abortion states or. Uh, pull all of their their business out of California. They may come to some agreement. Um, so I think there's a little grandstanding, political grandstanding going by uh, by Newsom. But but the point is is that all Walgreens is doing is trying to survive in, in a marketplace. And they they right now. I mean, it, I I supported the Supreme Court's decision that they made on Roe v. Wade, pulling back from that and giving it up to the states. But every state is is a little almost country in and of itself. And, and so it is going to be very awkward for the next couple of years as different states have different policies, particularly those that regard the, the whole United States commerce and with the, these, these abortion pills. Yeah, and Emily, that's just it. So we know Dobbs, um, pre-Dobbs, the pro-life movement was taken out of the political process entirely. If you wanted to make a change, you had to go to the courts. You couldn't vote for change and have it done legislatively. Some states, these 21 states, have made the calculation, um, you know, a baby at 10 weeks, when you can use the pills up to that point, has arms and legs, has a heartbeat, and we want to regulate to protect that life. Um, why can't they make that decision? They should be able to. And Walgreens, to your point, simply is saying this. Our position has always been that once we are certified by the FDA, Walgreens plans to dispense uh, this drug. It's one of the two abortion pills. And in any jurisdiction where it is legally permissible to do so, including the state of California. So Walgreens isn't taking a side here. They're just saying, let the states decide, and we will honor that. Of course not. This is proposed. Posterous. Remember just two years ago when restaurants, when businesses, when establishments were getting their licenses revoked, when they were having the Fed raid their restaurants because they dared to stay open, bars yeah. dared to stay open. Why would a corporation dare to say, I will not follow the law, when just two years ago I was mandated in regulation, in ordinance, in laws and in fines, fines fees and license revocations to comply with the law? Walgreens is only saying they will be compliant. And why in the shadow of so many small, medium, and large businesses that were absolutely gutted because of this administration and their adherence to creating these manufactured law, why would they do anything different? And for this state's administration, this Governor Gavin Newsom, to ignore those incarcerated, I've spent so many hours in state and federal prison. It is so difficult to get the medication that he says, oh, we will simply replace this contract, we will dispense it, of course. You know why he doesn't care? Because those forgotten, discarded, that member that those population members they don't vote that's why that's why he doesn't care because those who are seeking abortion are more important to his woke nodding political aspirations than the incarcerated who are the truly ones that need our protection at this moment especially under his state believe nothing that he says. Harris, and you look at the way DeSantis was treated for going after Disney, which, by the way, was given generous subsidies in the state. Uh, they were even allowed to build, uh, to evade some fire prevention codes. In other words, they were given a really special place in state law, and DeSantis said, you've inserted yourself into the political process in my state on a bill I'm trying to pass, so we're going to take action. But he's evil, bad man for doing that, but Newsom, oh, women's rights, we're going to applaud him for going after a private company. Well, and to David's point, have we heard anything about Disney leaving Florida? No. Well, they're, no, lo they're no. losing their tax. No. They're, they're losing their status. They're, lo they're losing that tax status. And, so and maybe staying. Gavin Newsom needs to. to or well, where CEO where are they going to, to go? You know? Is my point. Yeah. They will work it out, which yeah. was your point. And by the way, uh, I'm just curious. So, and I'm sort of kidding, but not. Gavin Newsom escaped to go somewhere during that monster 
Yes. Atmospheric river driven snowstorm. <laughs> Perhaps if Walgreens opens up someplace that he can escape to, he'll say, we should <laughs> oh, maybe keep that in my state. Yeah. Mm. I'm sort of kidding with that. This is politics. Yeah. It's clearly politics. This is not about people that he doesn't see over the people that he wants to vote for him or anything like that. This is he wants to run for president. So he's got to separate those groups yeah. out. Her we don't even know the half of it, I'm sure. Well, it's what makes me know, so mad about this, Kelly. I'm sorry. Oh, it makes go me ahead. so mad about I'm so sick of politicians using corporations, singling out corporations, and forcing them to get into the political side of a debate. To your point, Walgreens is trying to follow the law. They are under threat from these 20 states and these GOP AGs, and they've got to do business in these states. They are a company. They have employees that have kids, that have families. And by the way, if you want to threaten Walgreens and Dwayne Reed, mostly Walgreens in California, let's recall a lot of uh, lower income families depend on Walgreens Good for point. food. Yeah. Good point. Yep. For but as Emily pointed out, he may not them. see them. And by the I way, they're so getting I, they're getting I, hit, I would also, they're, they're getting hit so hard by by shoplifters right now yeah. because these crazy 100%. laws that make shoplifting essentially legal. And and so put on top of that, what they're going through now with that, it's just I mean you you got to give businesses a break in this country. I, Come on, politics. That's right. I would also note though people who have attacked DeSantis on Disney. Disney inserted themselves into the political yep. space by going after a law. And distinct from what DeSantis did, here you have Newsom going after other states' laws by targeting a political company. It has nothing to do with something Washington Imagine if he were president. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, God. Gosh, God forbid. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.